All right. Um, you know, Dimitri, after the end of this first professional season for you, 29 games, you know, your first real test of the American Hockey League level, how, how would you describe, you know, this, the sensation of, of being able to get those games under your belt and, you know, create a foundation to build upon? I mean, uh, that's a good season. And, uh, of course, as a tough league and, uh, you know, my first season, it was a kind of a learning process I went through. So, uh, you know, with each day I get better and uh, I think uh, I, I, I get like, I grow myself a little uh, in, in matter of like hockey. And uh, I feel right now a lot better and a lot more comfy. Lately, I would say in the last games, I felt myself uh, better too. So kind of get uh, uh, more comfortable with the game kind of get adopted so uh, so that's that's a, that's a thing I guess yeah and you know earlier in the season you know maybe you're around you know games five to 15 you know you were playing in you know positions in the lineup you know maybe on the third line maybe on the fourth line are those positions you know like was was you know was was part of your adjustment you know learning how to play in that sort of position because you know, when you were playing with Ramuski, for example, you know, you were on, you were on the top line or in the top six, it, you know, was learning to play in that bottom six and, you know, learn that habits. Was that something that really happened with you this year? Uh, I guess, I think, I don't know uh, what's like the, the coaching decisions, but uh, of course, I mean, they, they put me in third line uh, and I got to, you know, uh, got to get more comfortable with the game and uh, I got to understand how to play here, how to play in the American Hockey League. And uh, I played with the good guys in the third line. And, uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't bad. Uh, it was pretty good for me, you know. Uh, so I got some opportunities and I got some shots to play. So uh, whatever is my, like, first season, so. Yeah, and... Did you feel, um, you know, as the season progressed, that you were you were becoming more willing to, well, not not necessarily willing, but more, you were you were finding more opportunities to be able to create space in the offensive zone and shoot the puck. Yeah, I would say yeah, uh, lost like uh, uh, nine games. Uh, I was I was playing better, and I felt myself like more uh, creative. I felt myself more like aggressive. I felt myself. Uh, more with the puck, I felt myself like shooting more, you know, got more shooting mentality. And uh, I don't know, uh, coaches just gave me some tips and I was trying to uh, to uh, to do what they want me to do. And, you know, and uh, of course, get my like own creative things, you know, going. So, uh, yeah, I mean, lately, last, last like nine, 10 games, I felt myself a lot better. And the last one for me, obviously you played all but one games this season. Um, you sat out of one game, I think it was earlier in April. Um, and, you know, what was, what was, you know, we talked to Kale that night and, you know, he just said he wanted to, to let you reset a little bit and, and sit up in the stands and sort of get a sense, you know, the, the speed of the game from a distance. And after, after you came back from that, you scored about half a point a game. You scored, you know, four points in the next nine or so games. You know, what, what do you think that, that chance to just sit and you know, look for a game, what do you think that afforded you in terms of, you know, letting you grow a little bit? Probably it, it, it went good for me. Uh, I mean, uh, I didn't expect that, but, like, it went really good for me. And uh, I was watching the game from the stairs and, you know, I was watching, like, some openings, like, you know, what's, like, how, how the guys looking from the stairs. And uh, it helped me. I mean, uh, he told me that more that uh, – just a learning process and he's gonna put me on the stairs and uh, but next game I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back in the lineup and gonna be doing some dash so um, just uh, I mean it went good for me and after that I felt myself I know I felt myself better and probably it gave me a little you know a little like shock so I don't know or whatever so it helped me by the way so yeah, yeah absolutely thank you thank you all right, go ahead, Paige. Hi, Dimitri. Um, you got the opportunity to spend some time in the KHL, whereas some of the players, they were kind of just waiting around and practicing before they got to see any games. How do you think that helped you in your transition into Stockton? Uh, I think it helped me helped me very well, too. Uh, I mean, it was my like, first, pro, like, first pro shot, so... Uh, 
you know, I went there and uh, right away played some games. Uh, I mean, like, I was practicing like for, I don't know, for six months and I went right away to play, play some games with, you know, the in, in the good league in the KHL, in the good team. So uh, uh, I think it helped me a lot because uh, if I wouldn't play there, I would be just practicing, you know, just coming to, to the camp without any games experience. So uh, it helped me a lot. It was a big deal too, you know, because I'm Russian and, you know, I, I made it to KHL there, so uh, it was pretty good. Played there like five games, got injured a little, but uh, came back and was practicing. They were keeping me in shape too. So, you know, it's of course a lot better to stay like in shape with, uh, with the guys uh, who's playing the games, you know, with the, with the team who's in the champion, championship right now, uh, than, than like, just like practice by yourself somewhere. Mm -hmm. And this year, um, now that you're done your first pro season, looking back, do you feel like there were certain players, whether it be um, your teammates on Stockton or other teammates that you've had throughout your career that were kind of a mentor role for you, providing you advice or if you needed, if you had any questions or anything transitioning into your pro career, were there anyone that was able to kind of help you out with that? Uh, I mean, yes. I mean, uh, Alex Yellison, when I came, he was helping me a lot because like, He's Russian too, and he was like helping me and supporting me every time with the uh, Artyom Zagidulin, the goalie too. So uh, except except this those two Russians, I would say like uh, Matthew Phillips were was like helping me. He told me like he, he like don't worry about the points and just play the game, you know, and uh, gave me some tips on the ice and like just uh, were he were kind of resetting me every time. And uh, Luke Philp, he was helping me too, you know, uh, was. He, he was talking to me and, you know, we were kind of like uh, the same types of like players. So they, they went through that and uh, they told me like, to don't worry, it's, it's going to come and uh, just uh, stay positive and uh, do the good things. Mm -hmm. That's great to hear. Um, just last question from me. If this game or this season had gone either the full season or if you guys would have went into postseason, where would you have liked your, um, your skills to continue to progress? if if that would if, if that season would keep going yeah what would you kind of like to keep doing or do better or kind of see if you had more uh, i think uh like bottles win win more bottles like you know, or check be better on a four check when like through like go through the through the guy's hands and uh and uh the the wall place the wall place in our zone i could be better a lot and uh, if I if I will do that better, I will get like more bucks, you know, and I will create more, and probably I will be better a lot if I would do like keep going on on these things. Perfect. Thanks, Dimitri. Thank you. Go ahead, Patrick. Uh, Dimitri, uh, you played in the KHL. You played in the AHL. Um, how do you find the two leagues similar, and how are they different uh, from what you've seen? Uh, I mean, uh, in KHL, it's more like skills, I would say, you know, and uh, some of the series, you got like the big rings. So you got more space there a little. And uh, in AHL, it's more like battles here, yeah. more like physical game. But I would say the, the, the pace, the pretty similar pace, uh, but the battles and the skills there is like, uh, like some different mentality, you know, like uh, that's, that, that's the thing. Cool. And then, uh, how do you feel that uh, the AHL like is it on, is it on the same level or is it a little one higher than the other? I mean, from what you've seen, uh, I would say it's on the same level. Uh, I, AHL is pretty good league, and uh, I would I would say I mean like AHL of course is pretty tough league. Yeah. It's a little uh, in matter of like uh, physical game, but uh, and in KHL I guess it's more like skill, you know, skill played and. And uh, like pretty same pace and uh, pretty same level, I would say. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Anything more for Dimitri? Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Um. So we just talked to Adam Rozichka before we talked to you, and earlier in the season we talked to Adam, and it was on the day that you got your first point, I think, or maybe your first goal, and he said that he had told you before that game that you would do it. Um. And and. Uh, I'm just curious because Adam, Adam seems like, you know, in the interviews that we've had with him this year, it just 
seems like he's very um seems like he's very a uh, a very uh, extroverted player he, he he's very um you know very you know he's just sort of a figure in, in the locker room and and you know coming into this locker room uh and you know seeing adam rzichka as the number one center producing at the level that he that he's that he's at what sort of a role model is he I mean, uh, of course, uh, he's a good guy on the ice and off the ice. Uh, he got a lot of energy. Yeah, he's extra, extra, extra weird. Uh, like, if I, yeah. if I write. Uh, and uh, he, I, I mean, he's a good role model like, for young guys. And uh, he's, he's doing a, a good job, you know. Uh, it's his second year. Yeah, and he told me before a game and he was, like, supporting me all the way to, like, you know, all the way through the season, like, helping me too. So uh, that that's a he's, a he's a good guy in the locker room and a uh, good role model too. Absolutely. And my last one for you is um, you know obviously this summer uh, you you've been in North America playing hockey for quite a while. But um, <coughs> what are you, what are your plans uh, for this summer? What a, what what do you plan on plan on doing and where where are you planning on spending the summer? Uh, just go home, you know, and, uh, spend some summer, with, uh, spend some time with, uh, my parents, girlfriend and, uh, brother, you know, like some friends and just, uh, have fun. And I got to, uh, finish my university stuff too, this, uh, like during the June. So, uh, gonna, gonna do that. And, uh, after I gonna like rest a little, you know, <laughs> I mean, the rest of my, of my like school trip, like school stuff. So that's it. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it.